Our biggest challenge here is the weather. It does rain a lot here. It's just South Alabama, it's a tough time of year to be trying to do some of this. My name's Todd Barnes, uh, work with Couch Aggregates and I'm the plant manager here in Jackson, Alabama. Some of the material that we have in this is a heavy sand mix. It packs tightly. We deal with that and the heavier stones, the, the sticks, as you're digging and mining, there's generally two or three different clay bases that, you know, that we have to, to deal with. Thick, thick clay, the wet material, it actually does real good. The moisture content here on the river could vary from 2% one day to up to 9%. It's a tough application for any screen. I am Zach Gradwell. I'm part of the sales department here at Stone Equipment Company. We get the dry shakers, we bring them in, get as close to the mining operation as we can, and then start with pre-screening here to, to get as much of the unused sand out of the product as possibly. And then that way we're taking a lot of the, just a good product straight to the wash plant. Run it through the wash plant, separate it into sand, pea gravel, 67 and 57, haul it down to our, our site on the river, from there, it is loaded right onto the barges. They leave from here and, and they go up the east coast and all down into the Florida Panhandle. One of the, uh, the partners that's with uh, Couch Aggregates, the stone group that has the Aztec equipment, they asked them to come in. We already had a pre-screener that was already out here. And so they kind of went head to head with the existing pre-screener that we had against this the Aztec high frequency screener actually outperformed the equipment that was out here. As far as machines being able to compare to the 205 multi-frequency, I just really don't think there is one out there. It's in a class of its own. The PEP technology on that bottom deck is just nobody else has it. We had one competitor come over and, and tell us that we have a game changer here and he doesn't know if his machine will ever be able to compete the tonnage that we're doing here. They were doing about 80 to 90 tons an hour of the products we were trying to capture off of that bottom deck. We were at about 135 to 140. Increases in production here at Couch since they've had the 205 multi-frequency plants. We were here in upwards to 35% more production, but the difference was in the cleanliness of the material. Yes, we're doing that much tonnage, but it's also clean. We run uh, 12 months out of the year. We're doing roughly 50, 60,000 tons a month. We've actually got to the point to where we can dial it up or dial it down as needed. We're leaving four, five, 600 tons of material that we can't sell or can't do nothing with actually in the mining area that we can use for reclamation that we don't have to tote back and forth. Just kind of cut down on a lot of our fuel costs with the 205 multi-frequencies. They are more portable, self-contained, easy to move around in the pit. You know, you can set up one side of the quarry and go to the next side of the quarry in a matter of minutes, be screening gravel and sand and any kind of aggregates. It's fairly simple design, it's operator friendly. Changing the screens out is real easy. I can usually take a greenhorn and put him with a veteran and they pick it up real quick. Some of the other machines, they were something from overseas. The machine is down weeks at a time waiting on a simple part. That's money that, that, that we're losing. It means a lot. And a lot of the American-made machinery, the parts are readily available, unlike the ones that are made overseas. The guys from Stone, if we have a problem, they're available to you know pick up the phone. It don't matter if they're on vacation or not. They're a good bunch of guys. The features I like about the 205 multi-frequency is it's robust, it's tough. These guys run these plants sometimes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They push them, push them really hard. We get a good usage out of them. We get a good run with them. We don't have a lot of breakdowns or anything like that. They're dependable machines. You can come in in the morning, check everything out on them, make sure everything's topped off and make sure the, everything's tightened down and you pretty much go to work with them and they'll work all day long.